Welcome to Pro Tools Expert, my name's Dan Cooper. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use this. This is Loop Cloud 2 by Loop Masters. It's a cloud connected app that enables you to browse, stream and import loops and samples into your DAW in a really elegant way. It's a standalone application for Mac and Windows and it's free. It ships with one gigabyte of free loops and another 150 samples are added each week. Now let me show you around the interface. It is very intuitive. At the top, we've got search. Let's just give this a try. Let's type in drums. Results at the bottom. Little cloud symbol means that these loops are up in the clouds, but we can audition them. Very simple. Let's say you like that loop. You might want to store it on your host computer. You can right click and download in background. Very simple. Now we can search by instrument. For instance, we can go for drums, genre, Labels, if you wish, this just lists the uh, the brands and the artists that created the loops format, like WAV, for instance, MIDI files, all that sort of stuff, and key and BPM. We'll look at this a little bit later when we look at melodic instruments. Works really well. We can refine this a little bit further so we can look for just loops such as this or one shots. Now let's say you've been doing a fair amount of browsing and searching and you've spent a few hours in loop clouds and there was a drum loop that you were playing around with earlier on but you forgot what it was. Well, on the right hand side we've got very useful search history and uh, yeah, you can go all the way back. Let's say, for instance, like now I can go back a couple of hours and I can find this. That little loop that I found earlier that I really want to use. So that in a nutshell is how to find loops and samples in the loop cloud free library. Got a store at the top right here with a wealth of uh, loops and samples. So let's just click on one here so I can show you what the store looks like. We can audition loops and samples in here as well. No faith. You'll notice those birds in the background. No way. That's not part of the sample. Let me tell you that now. That's ambient noise to encourage you to buy these loops and samples. And uh, yeah, that gets removed when you do purchase. Purchasing is done via a point system. You can see over here, you can buy either the loop or buy the pack. And if you wish to buy more points, you do that here. It takes you through to the Loop Cloud website. And yes, very easy, you can buy more points and then invest those points into either individual loops, samples or packs. So giving you a good idea there of the library and the store. Let me show you how to hook this up to a DAW. I'm using Pro Tools, so I'll be using that in this video. So I've got a new Pro Tools session here, a couple of things to set up, stereo master track, click track, stereo instrument track, and some empty stereo audio tracks. This is where we're gonna be dragging our loops to. Now on the stereo instrument track, we load one instance of Loop Cloud. It's a very simple little monitoring plugin, nothing to do other than load that up, close it down. Then over in Loop Cloud, we have to connect this application to our DAW. Just use this little lightning bolt down here. It says connected to Pro Tools. This will be connected to Logic if you're using Logic and so on and so forth. Now, what does this mean? Two things. One, we can now monitor in Pro Tools what's going on in our standalone application of Loop Cloud. And two, Loop Cloud pretty much slaves to this. So whatever our BPM is in our DAW, that's the BPM at which the loops will play back in Loop Cloud, making it very easy to audition new loops within a production. Very cool. Right, let's use Loop Cloud and put a little track together. Start with drums, let's go over the loop. And at the bottom, we've got pitch, so we can change the pitch of a loop. Very cool. And we can double time or half time. But next to that, we've got something very interesting. It's called pattern. If it's set to auto, the entire loop will, uh, will play and we can pull that across into our DAW. But we've got some different patterns underneath this. Let's go for something like kick two. Listen closely. Very, very cool. You can get some very interesting rhythmical things going on here. On drums, yeah, you know, it sounds cool, but if you put this on uh, a different instrument, like a guitar loop or synth, it's, uh, yeah, very interesting indeed. I'm just gonna keep it on one bar. Quite like that. 
Now, because we've got this set to one bar under this pattern, and it's now been changed to our DAW BPM, this little processed tab here is where we can drag it from Loop Cloud directly into our DAW. So let's do that. Perfect, and it's one bar. So I'm gonna duplicate that a few times because I quite like it. Let's move across. Let's see if we can get some acoustic guitar in this. Acoustic guitar, let's go for loops. Sounds quite nice. Let's audition this in Pro Tools. If I loop the four bars here and uh, hit play in Pro Tools. Let's just go for the first bar. Actually, let's try something different. Let's go for offbeat. Interesting, let's try offbeat three. Snare. Great, absolutely love this pattern. Feature here. Just go with one bar to keep it simple. So we've got that download file. And let's drag this across into our DAW. And let's get one more instrument in from Loop Cloud. Let's go for a bass instrument. Now that loops in G. What I need to do is find a bass instrument that's also in G. So let's clear this out, go for a bass instrument. Key and BPM, let's go for G. Let's have a little audition. Sounds like it could work. Let's hear it in Pro Tools. Not quite. Let's keep flicking through whilst it's in play. That's interesting. Let's use that. Drag it straight across, back to the beginning. Yeah, like that very much. So that there is how to use Loop Masters Loop Cloud 2 with your DAW. Doesn't need to be Pro Tools, it could be Logic, it could be Studio One, doesn't matter. As I said at the beginning of this video, this is a free application for Windows and Mac. Go get yourself a copy, have a little play around with it. This is a really powerful and creative tool that I find is making working with loops fun again. And that's what it's all about when you make music. It's got to be fun. So yeah, get yourself a copy of this. Anyway, for more information on Loop Masters Loop Cloud, do check out the Loop Cloud website. Hope you guys got something from this. I'm Dan from Pro Tools Expert, and I'll see you again soon.